Brrrra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 5 stories coming out of the subreddit I don't work your lady. If you enjoy my videos and want to support what we do here, leave a fire emoji in our comments and like this video. Congratulations Tamara for the comment of the day. Brrrra. Confused for the manager. I've had a few I don't work your lady experiences in my life, but not many, and most were understandable mistakes and quickly resolved. This one, however, a different matter entirely. This happened a few years ago, so I'm not going to pretend it is 100% accurate. I was working in an office in an industrial estate. It is a busy day, and the customer was due to visit tomorrow, so I end up working through lunch. I finally get a break, about 2.30 and 3 o'clock. I pop off to a nearby supermarket to grab something to eat and some more milk for the coffee machine. I am standing in front of the chiller deciding which sandwich to buy when I hear it. Hey, you! I turn and find a 50 year old woman in sweats and crocs, looking like she's just eating a lemon standing well within my personal space. Close enough, I can feel her breath. My confusion must be showing as she says, Yeah, you! I wanna make a complaint. I take a step back, not sure what's going on. I'm sorry? What? Damn right you should be sorry. There is no gritted chattered and that expletive deleted on the dairy aisle won't get more for me. At this point, I realize what's going on. I am wearing a suit and tie. I have an ID badge for my work. Okay, it is obviously not the supermarket's uniform or ID. And I walked through the front desk less than a minute before, but mistakes happen. Sorry, I think you have- I want that racial epithet fired. Today, long fingernail starts poking me in the chest. The crazy lady starts ranting at me. It seems like every fifth word is a swear word or some slur. After about a minute, I finally managed to get a word in edgeways. I'm not the person you want, lady. I'm just here to buy my lunch. This does not work. Apparently, I am the manager. Apparently, I can't be buying lunch because lunch is over. Apparently, I am just too lazy to do my damn job and she's going to get me fired because her sisters is married to the area manager and I should give her an apology and a discount or she's going to make sure I never work again. This is the point where the cavalry arrives in the form of the actual store manager, a crying girl who looks about 16 in the supermarket's uniform, the girl from the dairy aisle who this same woman had driven to tears when she explained the delivery was late so the stuff she was looking for was not available, and a security guard. Suddenly outnumbered, crazy lady story changed. Suddenly, I'd be claiming to be the store manager and had been harassing her. She got thrown out and told not to come back. I got my lunch at a staff discount as an apology, so treated myself to a cookie. She's lucky she was poking at you and not someone with less self-control. Might have ended up with a few broken fingers for her trouble, but I think being in his personal space was more annoying than the poking itself. When someone's face is just a few inches from yours, it's like, get away from me. Especially when you can feel and smell their breath. Ugh. If someone says you've called a wrong number, you probably have. Our house telephone number used to be one digit of the number for a local garden center. Unsurprisingly, we often got people calling us by mistake. We did not really mind because it was quite funny and the caller usually got a laugh out of it as well. But not Karen. When I explained to her that she had not actually called the garden center, she explained to me that she most certainly had. Well, who was I to argue? As they say, the customer is always right. My mistake. How can I help you? Long story short, Sorry for the actual employees who had to deal with what I imagine was a very irate Karen and explained to her that it was not a 70% off sale on deck chairs. Obviously, you're just another entitled millennial being lazy and dodging work. Get me your manager. Similar shorts and a stupid lady. I finally got to say, I don't work here lady. So a little backstory. I am a 15 year old guy who's 5'9", but for some reason, people always think I look older than my age. My brother works at this place called 5 Season Family sports club powered by Logic, but the Logic facility, which is a workout place, recently moved into the 5 Seasons facility. My brother started working when Logic was separate from 5 Seasons, so he has two different work shirts, one that say Logic on the front and back, and the other that says 5 Seasons in huge letters on the front and back with Logic in small letters underneath. Both shirts are black, and this is important later on. Now, 
I am a cyclist and I race at an extremely high level. So I am at my workout place close to 5 days a week. So a lot of the people know me there. And I know my way around the facility. I am given a little more privilege than some older people that go there because my dad designed all of the sound systems in all of the training areas. This means I am allowed to go anywhere in the facility, even places that are employee only, like the kitchen. And this is important later. So one day, I am getting ready to go to my workout place and I don't have a clean shirt. So I asked my brother if I could use his old work shirt. Most of his clothes are nice and a little expensive. So I didn't want dirty them up in a workout. When I get there, I do my normal routine of getting my locker, sign up for a class, workout, shower, then go get food upstairs. When I get to the cafe area, I notice that the workers are not out of the kitchen taking people's orders, mainly because there is no one eating. So I decide to walk back into the kitchen and ask the workers if I could order some food. Now the workers know me and know that I am allowed to do this and they are perfectly fine with this. So once I order, they say that my food is gonna take 10 or so minutes. I take them and then walk out of the kitchen. This is when I see stupid lady. As I walk out, I notice that C is looking around, presumably for a worker to order food. She then sees me and starts walking towards me. Hey, I would like a pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. Me not knowing what exactly she said. What? I said, I would like a pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. I'm sorry, I don't work here. Yes, you do. You have an employee shirt on. Oh, no, this shirt is from the previous facility that my brother worked at that moved into here. What do you mean? That shirt is exactly the same as all the other shirt. No, it's not because I used to go to the old facility and I don't work here. Yes, you do. Now go get me a pepperoni pizza now. At this point, I have no idea what to do until one of the workers comes out with my food. Here you go, looking at me holding my food. Thanks. And quick question, do I work here? The employee knows me pretty well. No, why are you asking that? I look over at that stupid lady and it looks like she finally got it and walks away. Only seconds later to come back and ask the worker worker that gave me my food if she could order some food. I am 13 Karen. So I was at a water park wearing a white tank top and a red basketball shorts. I was in the lazy river on a float. I feel a tap on my shoulder. I look who done it. And here's how the convo went on. Why are you on a float? Because I can. And yes, I am a smart alack. But you're not allowed. What do you mean? You are not at your lifeguard stand. Ma'am, I don't work here. And I snickered. Yes, you do. You are wearing the water park uniform. Ma'am, I am 12. The workers here have to be 18 or older. You don't look 12. Let me see your ID. I am 12 and I have a barely noticeable mustache and I'm turning 13 in August. Okay, it's on my chair. Okay, then let's go. I take her to my chair. My parents were on a water slide that had a long line. I handed her my dad's wallet and took out his driver's license. That's not you! Yeah, I know, it's my father's driver's license. I'm still going to your manager. As she went to the manager, I give her the, girl, are you stupid? Look, manager comes and here's what happened. Ma'am, I've never seen this young man in my life. What are you talking about? He is not one of our employees. How is he wearing the lifeguard attire? If you don't get out, I will call the police. Karen gets out and says, I'm never coming here again. The manager trespassed Karen and he gave me a gift card for McDonald's. Good things my parents did not see what happened. If you want so much nut to sell. Okay, so I just found out about this subreddit. So the story is like 2 or 3 months old. The story is said in a medium sized supermarket in France. I was there with friends to get some food and, of course, alcohol for a party. Before that, I asked one of my friends to come with me in the smartphone and connected Object Al in order to ask her advice about a smartwatch. She did not know anything about these, so I basically ended up explaining her why I want to get one. Conversation. Blah blah blah. So you see, there is many ways I would use it, so I'm really hesitating whether I should buy one or not. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I would consider buying one myself. That woman that comes out of nowhere, without saying hi or anything, let's call her EB, obviously stating for entitled B. Uh, tell me why that thing is useful? Uh, sure. Me explaining why it is actually kind of a cool thing to have on your wrist. Wow. Cool, but it's kind of pointless to have that actually. There are many things you can already do with your smartphone and it's expensive, really. So I will not bother buying one yet, I think. The girl visibly angry. Oh, 
If you want so much not to sell anything, don't bother working here. Wow. Um, mom, I... The girl still angry. Oh, right, you know, I've been selling that kind of things for quite a while now. But you're the worst seller I've ever seen. If it is so pointless, why aren't you at home? Me, puzzled. I actually... Where is your manager? Huh? I don't work here. The girl, still mad. Oh, obviously you don't. When someone is that bad at selling things, he obviously... Obviously should not be working here. I'm getting uncomfortable. Like, truly. No, I mean, I actually don't work here. The girl, realizing her mistake. Oh. And she just casually walks away. She yelled at me, literally in front of everyone. People were like looking at me like, dude, good luck with that. And she just casually walked away and kept on going with her groceries. People are amazing. Today was my day. It finally happened to me. Reddit, it finally happened. Today, I got to experience being able to say, I don't work here, lady. For background, I work in construction supply delivery. Uniform being gray pants, red polo with company logo, yellow safety vest, also with company logo and name, and a huge logo on the back. This is important for later. I was at the local Walmart picking up a couple of things for work. I drive a truck, so I was in the automotive section next to the hardware section. I was in a bit of a hurry, so I did not take off my vest. My mistake, and I decided to just run in and get what I needed and go. Right after I found what I wanted, I had a few items in hand, I noticed a lady walking along the back side of the aisle by the wall. She looks at me and starts asking questions about tools. She got a bit closer to me and really started looking at the logo on my vest and she said the words, you don't work here, to whereas I reply, no, sorry. She accepts that and starts to walk away. I told her that I was not sure if this small Walmart had any in stock, but I figured since I just passed the hardware section that I will tell her where it was. You know, just nice person things. She said her son was going off to college, so she was looking for one of those small cheap tool bags with a bit of everything in it for small house jobs. I told her they should have one because I remember getting one of those when I got into my first house. At this point, there are about 5 people in this small aisle, and the lady was walking, roughly 4 to 9 meters on the other end of the aisle. Another lady passes me while I am still talking to this older woman, and as soon as I finished speaking, she asked me where she can find something. I told her that I had no idea where she could find it. She noticed my company logo on my vest and realized her mistake. Not 2 seconds later, yet another woman behind her started asking about super glue. And at this point, I am just ready to get out of this suddenly crowded aisle. So I told her, I don't know, I don't work here. And I thought that would be the end of it. But as soon as I turned to walk away, she muttered. Quite audibly, shall I say. Yes, you do. You are wearing a uniform. I just kind of looked down at my very obviously not a Walmart uniform and said yes and walked away. Now I know my two biggest mistakes were. I did not take off my vest, so I can see the confusion there. I also decided to help out a fellow customer around older people. I just don't see how you can see two older people realize that someone is clearly not an employee and still assume they are. Then, get passive aggressive about it when they tell you. I've seen it here before, but it remains true. If someone actually works in a place of business, why will they tell you that they don't work there? What sense does that make? I don't get it. Oh, this is just funny for how many times this actually happened. With a red shirt on, you can work the aisles at Target on weekends. Hell, someone could be wearing a full clone costume in a Walmart and the odds of someone thinking they were there and claiming they're wearing the uniform are still terrifyingly high. Check out my playlist right here for I don't work your lady videos. If you can show me some support by liking the video and subscribing, this will mean the world to me. Also hit the bell button to know when we post a new video and join the notification gang. Thank you again for watching this episode of I Don't Work Your Lady. See ya!